We want to show you an intriguing collection of aesthetically pleasing paintings representing the work of an Italian artist spanning over a period of half a century. Sponsored by the Center for the Multidisciplinary Study of Cybernetic Existentialism, the majority of these paintings traveled the world and were shown in cultural centers, art galleries, literary circles and museums. It is the monumental work of a secluded man, a paradigm breaker with extraordinary intuitions and constant contact with otherworldly dimensions. Over the years, we encountered different levels of interpretation from different schools of thought, art experts caught the sophisticated humor and subtle irony, while others an obsession with technology. The painter doesn't have a formal education in physics nor in technology, and yet he skillfully paints thought-provoking technological beings with microchips painted or inserted into the canvas. These represent sorts of hybrids programmed, genetically enhanced and over the years more and more cybernetic. Star Wars fantasies? Egregores? Are they real or avatars of his creations? Are they messengers from a distant past or from a distant future? This is a hotly debated and hotly contested subject, both in physics and philosophy. Are there aliens? Are there hybrids? What about clones? Who are they? Where do they live? Are they real or just a figment of our imagination? And what about abductees, contactees, abduction experiencers, channelers of different entities? Is the abduction phenomenon psychological, imagined or experiential? Real or pure speculation? European and American ufologists advance theories of experiences that go way beyond conventional interpretations. They make a shocking statement about these paintings as a disclosure of hidden messages, accurate descriptions of robots constantly evolving, clones, doubles, copies or versions of ourselves. There are processes of hybridization which seem to be executed in another dimension beyond the matter where non-human advanced intelligence operate. They affirm that in the artistic expression of his entire life, the painter introduces the viewer with the solid idea of technological superhumans created and constantly modified perhaps by a transdimensional, interstellar intelligence. Since the early 70s, some of his artwork introduced the concept of a multiverse, as an opposite universe that is somehow familiar to us all. Where some appreciate the paradox and the humor, others see a reality that is taboo to mention. His art evolved with, and often anticipated, technologies and so his high-tech robots in a half a century time lapse, his intelligent machines evolved into cyborgs, human-like sentient beings totally merged with technology. They instantly communicate telepathically and at the speed of thought, as if the painter imagined a new intergalactic programmed frequency, an advanced civilization as the future of humanity. Fractal beings, or robots with consciousness are produced to reflect human consciousness. To many, this artwork seems to describe how humans are evolving and preparing to enter an alien society. Also, vice versa, aliens, hybrids or clones are being instructed to enter the human society, learn human interactions and become, human-like. With stunning accuracy, this art collection predicted the future, as reported by Italian journalists. A well-known journal of cybernetics put one of his paintings of the early 80s titled Cloning on the cover, showing a series of containers with beings in the making. In the early 80s in Soho, New York, the Center for the Multidisciplinary Study of Cybernetic Existentialism inaugurated a monumental art exhibit titled Chips Are Us, introducing to the audience fractal essences that responded to programs, with semiconductors embedded in the canvas, beings with no feelings of affection nor sweetness, robots incapable of empathy, all showing a physical embodiment of a process of computation. In these paintings there is a thread of history spanning over half a century, yet according to many, these beings don't share our human history, but are getting closer and closer to us. Maybe we are getting closer and closer to them, both emotionally and psychologically, a shift to a new realm of existence. Those who claim to have experienced an abduction phenomenon see a familiar situation in this artwork and suggest that maybe, the painter, describes what he saw as his art reawakens dormant memories. Is the abduction relational or experiential? It is a temptation for many European and American intellectuals to suspect that the painter documented real intelligent beings, however different forms of life as we know it. A leading authority in alien intelligence, Italian professor Corrado Malanga, suggests that instead of looking outward, we should look inward. We are, after all, immersed in a holographic and fractal universe.
a well-known Italian contactee, Anna Federighi, a channel of an intelligence called Ashta Sharon and also of Leonardo da Vinci. Anna was seen in New York over two decades ago, described beings of different dimensional consciousness, benevolent and malevolent. This artist was born in Florence in the same house where Leonardo da Vinci worked. He never claimed to be his channel, however he always maintained that he is his spiritual heir. The collection of paintings seems to jump out of, and to illustrate, the book by Brad Olson, Future Esoteric, The Unseen Realm. I just listened to the audiobook narrated by this brilliant American author himself, and I can see the match with the art of this painter, who traveled all his life between many dimensions. His name is Ruffo Caselli, he was born in 1932, and he is the father of cybernetic existentialism.